Hey y'all, it's Monday night. I have a new um, tripod thingy. It's not a tripod actually, it's a, um... oh crap, what? Oh snap, what did I do? There we go. And I just did it again. <laughs> okay, so I have a new, um, I'm not using like the standard camera tripod. I found a um, this weird, it's like a clip, so you can clip onto almost anything. And it has a um, ring light on it. Y'all know my um, frustration with not being able to light things well. And um, so I decided to try something different out. And here we go. And the ring light actually is weird because it's like it's got this adjustable attachment across it and everything across on one side so it's got an attack or it's got like two adjustable rods one holds the phone and one holds this ring light and of course it's doing like this weird bouncy thing and everything it'll stop in just a second but um trying something different now <sighs> because i'm cuckoo crazy like that and lighting is driving me batty all right, anyway, if I start sweating profusely, I apologize. Um, it's like 70 degrees outside. Um, big difference from, you know, mid-20s, beginning of last week, and snow. And now we've got um, like 70 degrees. But what's funny is tomorrow the high is like 50, and they even have like 30% chance of snow for tomorrow night. I'll never understand Montana's bipolar weather. I will just say I thought Alabama's weather was crazy. Montana beats Alabama. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, yes, it, I love new gadgets. In fact, um, me and Amazon, um, if probably had a daily visit almost every day the past couple of weeks for me um, ordering new and random things. Yeah. But then again, who isn't? I mean, I would like to say I'm ashamed of how many packages come to my house, but I feel like I'm kind of in the norm. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. So, it, back to what I was saying. If I start like profusely like sweating and mess, I apologize. Mm, it's the weather and time crept up on me and I started running around like a mad woman trying to get this stuff done before um, I was supposed to go live. And if I jump over here to the side, it's not because I'm dishing y'all, it's because I'm keeping some water boiling. I set it up over here as opposed to three feet the other way which I probably should have done the other way. Anyway though, okay, tonight we're talking stress and um, I'm sure everybody knows stress is the biggest culprit to nearly everything. I mean, you can blame um, weight gain, you can gain, you know, blood pressure, the inability to sleep, um, loss of appetite, increase of appetite, there's so many things you can blame on stress. And um, I've definitely been over my fair share of stress over the past like month or so. And um, I've noticed some extreme differences in my you know usual daily routine. So being able to manage your stress levels is extremely important. Now, typically on your daily routine, um, you have your everyday stresses, you know, at work and everything. So hopefully these are some things that you can do this evening or do later to help during the day. Yeah. Anyway, um, that could help you when you need it. But first, this is not something I suggest. I don't want you taking no alcohol to work and blaming me on it because um, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Um, we are going to do a lemon lavender martini. Y'all know how much I love my essential oils. 
and um, most of tonight's um, DIYs um, include one essential oil and it ultimately is like the best that you could choose if you have if you're stressed if you need help sleeping or you got um, crazy emotions whatever whatever all right lemon lavender martini okay um first i must say before you make this you need to make some simple syrup simple syrup is taking equal parts sugar and water and boiling them um together you know in a pot let me jump over here to the side just like that and um you're gonna boil um water and sugar together equal parts and take it off the um, burner and then let it completely cool. Let it completely cool. Once it has completely cooled, you're going to add, where is it? Okay, it's one of the things I was running last minute. Um, you're gonna add one or two drops of lavender essential oil, again, one of the my favorite things about essential oils is one drop goes a long way this little bottle right here this is lavender essential oil has about 75 80 drops in it 75 80 drops in it i think i think i've got my numbers mixed up either way it's got about 75 80 drops in it, which means if you use one drop a day, it's lasting you almost two months. Um, one drop is all you need. And in all, in, in all honesty, the only ones I suggest for any kind of ingestion is, lab, is um, Young Living. They've got, this is bottled and labeled specifically to show you it is safe for ingestion. All right. So I've made a uh, simple syrup ahead of time and I just added my one to two drops. I added two drops of lavender essential oil. So I'm gonna put that in my ice. And then you need, let's see, now it's weird because I hated the smell of lavender. Hated it. But it's one of those things that over the years I have come to love it. You need three ounces of vanilla vodka. Oh, you needed a half ounce of, no, you need one tablespoon of the lemon um, simple syrup, or the lavender simple syrup. So one tablespoon lavender simple syrup, you need three ounces of vanilla vodka, and then you need a half ounce of lemon juice. And actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit less than that because I know that um, lemon juice is a bit strong. Y'all know I'm going to post this um, recipe later. So if um, I have gotten it all like messed up and confused, I'll show the recipe later. Yep. All right. So mix all that with ice. We're going to shake it up. I don't know why I got out that tablespoon. I'm hoping this is good. I've made martinis with um, essential oils before, and um, it's very, very different because you have to be very, very particular about the ingredients. You have to be very specific, and um, we'll see. This is one I found online. I got my fingers crossed, and um, here we go. Let's see. Lemon lavender martini. Do one drop of lavender because I know most of y'all probably aren't into the essential oils like I am. One drop of lemon lavender. I think it's perfect. I think that most everybody who's not um, cuckoo crazy over oils like I am would probably want one drop. So um, do three ounces of vanilla vodka, half ounce lemon juice, and one tablespoon of simple syrup with one drop of lavender essential oil. That's good. And in fact, the recipe, original recipe I found, um, 
suggested using dried or you know get go and get dried um, lavender personally I don't like stuff floating in my drink I don't like stuff floating in my bath I don't want to use dried herbs unless I'm making like potpourri or something like that all right anyways like I said tonight we are making um, a couple of do-it-yourself stress solutions things that you can hopefully you know drop in your pocket in your purse things that you can keep on your desk at work those times when you are um, you know the phones won't stop ringing the kids are screaming you know when you just feel like you know you're just about to burst some things that you can easily grab and hopefully help you know calm the nerves down and decompress them hey first this is completely random and something I kind of thought of on my own I saw something um someone else post something similar and my mind just went one way whatever but y'all know um, the children, those fidget spinners and everything. You know, you, you sit there and you spin them and they're supposed to, you know, help calm them and everything. Which I completely agree. If you've got, like, anxiety and um, children with ADHD, ADD. Um, in all honesty, um, for a while, I found myself, whenever I would get nervous or um, stressed, I would sit there and, like, bounce my foot. I would be sitting there at the table and my leg would just be bouncing. And I wouldn't realize it until someone else would put their hand on my leg or someone would say, hey, stop. And I'd be like, oh, crap, what am I doing? So um, we all have something that we do or some or way our body reacts when we get stressed. Um, so this is something that might help some of y'all. All right, grab yourself some... Did I really? Okay. Grab yourself some... Book rings. Book rings. You know, these things. You know, they open and close. They got all sorts of different sizes, colors, and everything. Grab yourself some book rings. And then, a whole bunch of, like, nuts and bolts and stuff that's circular. It's got a hole in the middle. Throw them. <laughs> String them on. Just... It doesn't matter how you put them on. It's literally, this is one of those things that you can customize to whatever you want. All right, all you're doing is putting nuts, bolts, um, beads, whatever is circular and has the hole in the middle. String them up, lace them on there like that. Now, I've already done a couple like this. Now, for someone that is nervous, stressed, um, they need a way to kind of fidget or that's the way that they, you know, help, you know, distract themselves from the nervousness. Um, this is one of those things that you can easily throw together. And all I did was, of course, two book rings, binder book rings, yeah. And I just laced a whole bunch of um, nuts and bolts on them and pieced them together. Just like that. Here's the one I just pieced together. If I wanted to, I could put them on there like that. And this is just something that I know that when I lived in Alabama, my commute was anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. Despite the fact that I lived 20 minutes away from work, my commute every day was an hour, an hour and a half. I felt like I needed to be doing something during that time. When you're sitting in the you know car, Sitting on the interstate, there's not a whole lot of stuff you can do. This is one of those things that would make me feel like I was doing something. Would keep my attention on the road and um, alleviate that, you know, stress from road rage. Yeah. All right, so, like I said, nuts, bolts, and a couple of um, book rings. There's that. Okay, right, now instead of nuts and bolts, this one is um, same thing. Now, if you want to, you could also use um, the key rings. I mean, again, you go over into the craft section. Actually, I found these in the jewelry section. Um, same thing. And I did not grab an extra one. All right, nope, I did. Anyways, all I did was. Of course, I've got some of these, I think they're called pony beads, which is something I just 
realized, I just learned over the past couple of months, I did not realize they were called pony beads. I don't know why they're called pony beads. To me, they're just beads or whatever. Anyway, though, grab some beads. Grab yourself some um, key rings. And um, my suggestion is to put the first one on, because of course, you know, you gotta hold it awkwardly open. Put that first one on and then just string or just lace whatever one's on after that. Don't push it all the way through until you get whatever you want on. And then, of course, slide it through. And to me, this one's a bit quieter than the one I just showed you because the beads are um, plastic. They don't um, amplify the noise as much. Anyway, the benefit of this is that with the um, binder rings that we just used, um, they could be... Um, some of them aren't as secure, so they tend to open up a little bit more easily. The benefit with the, using the key rings is they, um, they don't open up. So again, piece whatever you want on it. If you want to put the nuts and bolts on this, this is fine. If you want to put the um, pony beads on them, you can. Either way, string them together any which way you want. But... I have noticed that if you are just, if you're one of those people that just has to fidget or just has to, um, when you get nervous or overwhelmed, you have to be doing something. This is one of those things that you can easily, you know, just keep in your hands, play around with, and it keeps you from, you know, nervously bouncing that leg or whatever. Like I said, it's something that I um, didn't realize I was doing until someone pointed it out to me. And um, so if you put that frustration or stress into something else, it's a lot easier. All right, so there's that. Like I said, super simple. All right, this is one of those things that if you are at work, it's easy for you to do. Um, depending on your child's teacher or your school, your child's school's stipulations, this might work. And actually, I think I'm going to dig in my trash here in a second. Yep. I am. Aha! Because I forgot to grab it out earlier. Um, okay. So, again, with stress. Lavender and, or stress, emotions, rest, relaxation. Lavender is one of the best things you can use for all of that. I mean, we call it the, um... Swiss Army knife of essential oils. It's one of those things that when in doubt, use lavender. Um, if you are at work and you feel like your nerves are shot, you need to completely um, take a minute for yourself or whatever. Grab yourself a tiny little glass jar, glass jar, fill it with Epsom salts and drop a few drops of lavender essential oil in it. Now, of course, if you are with Young Living, there are a ton of other um, oils that I would suggest. Um, cedarwood, marjoram, stress away, valerian, valerian, yeah, white angelica. There's a ton of oils that I would suggest. But um, for the simple sake, lavender is your go-to. Epsom salt and lavender. So you're at work, you're stressed, the phones won't um, quit ringing, your boss is driving you batty, open it up, take a couple of really deep breaths, breathe it in, and I mean really breathe deep. I mean the thing is you, the biggest thing is you need to focus on um, those deep breaths. When you focus on it, it puts your concentration on that, which means that stress level decreases. Hey. For your children that are at school, I'm going to, I'm not going to remove this right now. Well, maybe I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Maybe. Okay, for your children that are at school, and if the teacher allows, if the school allows, again, this is something that you have to um, discuss with the teacher in the school ahead of time because y'all know how cuckoo crazy um, rules are. And I don't want anybody to get in trouble. Same thing. Of course, ideally, you would want this to be glass. Essential oils break down 
plastic because plastic for the most part is a toxin. So if your um, child needs help during the day, fill a um, prescription bottle with a Epsom salt, couple drops of essential oil, seal it up. In the middle of the day, they find themselves getting stressed. They need help bringing themselves down. They can open it up. Take a couple of you know good deep sniffs and um, there you go. All right, last one because I you know I'm striving to do better with my time. All right, this one I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I don't. Know. And um, we're gonna check to see how it goes. All right, this is a. In my mind, I'm thinking y'all, if you grew up around the same time I did, silly pudding. You know, it came in a little egg, you take it out, and you sit there and squish it around, whatever. This is kind of along those lines. We're making like a um, stress hoodie, I guess. Okay, right, so what you need is, I'm going to go ahead and read you the ingredients because I'm sure I'm going to mess it up here in a second. You need one cup of flour, one half cup of salt, three tablespoons cream of tartar, one tablespoon of oil, one half cup boiling water, and then 10 to 20 drops of essential oil. And then if you want purple food or purple food coloring and completely optional glitter. Don't do glitter. Don't do glitter. Let me hit my button again. Yep, just like that. All right, so we're gonna combine the flour. We need one cup of flour. I try to be mindful of these things that you know I do with y'all. That way, because I mean, I hate glitter. Why would I do something that you know to y'all to sabotage you and have glitter all over your house? No, I don't like that. All right, one cup of glitter. You need. A half cup of salt. Which if you're a parent and make um, and you make Play-Doh often, probably things you already have on hand. Okay, so how much cream of tartar? Three tablespoons cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is like one of the most essential things when you're making that baked play-doh which it doesn't matter how many um recipes i've tried for no bake play-doh um the only one that works is that one from way back in the day yeah you hear riley there he is hey riley yep he says hi yep riley look See him? Yep, that Boston head turn. He's, he's my favorite. He's looking around like, Ooh, who's talking to me? All right, um, <laughs> you need, um, doo -doo -doo, I put, let's see. See, y'all got me messed up here. Um, how much oil? One tablespoon oil, of oil. And then a half cup of, he is the cutest. He is the cutest. And then you need a half cup of boiling water. He is the cutest, but he is also the most high maintenance. Um, we took him to, oh, we didn't take him to the vet. I had to call the vet again this past weekend to get more um, meds filled for him. Okay, and then I'm adding, um, Lavender essential oil, and I'm just shaking a whole bunch in there because dogs pour back. He was fine Thursday afternoon. We took him out Thursday evening. All of a sudden, he um, his back was all arched up. He um, was obviously in pain. So I had to call the vet Friday morning. We had more pain meds refilled. So we've got him on pain meds at the moment. And hopefully, um, 
we can quit them, you know, we'll stop them tomorrow or whatever. High maintenance dog. Seriously, since day one, high maintenance dog. All right, so flour, salt, cream of tartar, boiling water, lava essential oil, and mixing bowl, stir until pretty light. Is this a pretty like mixture? Hmm, I don't know. It says to add the, um, the food coloring. And I'm not going to do that because if you, um, I've worked with children, about half of the crafts that I have done that required food coloring, they ended up dying your hands or your table. Mm -mm, ain't doing it. All right, so anyway, you just sit here and just knead it all in really, really well together. And y'all, it smells so good. It smells so, so good. And that is, for the most part, it. You're supposed, to, if um, you don't want to use glitter, they say that you're supposed to add just a bit more flour to keep it from being um, sticky. But if you can still find bags of um, Easter eggs, go ahead and grab yourself a bag. Because what you can do is um, bag yourself up or um, grab a bag of Easter eggs Break off a portion of the mixture, put in an egg, and keep it on your desk at work. Whenever you are feeling stressed, you need that time to um, relax, you're out shopping with the kids, whatever. You can take out that egg and just sit there and this is good, you know, it helps relax the muscles, the fragrance helps, you know, cool those um, emotions. Good stress reliever, right there. So, that is it. Seriously. It is that simple. Just like that. So, there you go. Biggest thing is, whenever you're using essential oils, is to make sure you take deep breaths. Whenever you are um, breathing those oils in, um, really breathe in deep. Um, those essential oils, um, the aroma hits your brain and it triggers, you know, through the rest of your body telling it to relax, whatever the oil is. Um, some oils help energize, some help calm, some help, you know, um, with the immune system. It all depends on what the oil is, but with lavender, what we're talking about tonight, all things in motion and stress. So there you go. Okay, so... That's it for tonight. We're done. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up for next week. Um, the next Thursday, so a week from Thursday, I think. It may be Wednesday. I'm not sure. Um, it's like National Pretzel Day, something like that. I don't know. Either way, next Monday night, we are doing a salted caramel pretzel martini. I am not the biggest fan of pretzels. I don't care for them that much. But you put salted caramel in it and guess what? I'm a fan. Um, salted caramel pretzel martini and we are making a chocolate pretzel toffee bark. Sounds yummy. To me it sounds yummy at least. I mean, yeah. There you go. Anyway, so... With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a warning. If you have not yet liked the Facebook page, you need to do that. If you have not liked yet the Instagram page, you need to do that. Um, of course, there is Pinterest and there is YouTube. Um, the Martinis with Manda anniversary is coming up here in, on May 1st. I have some awesome giveaways ready to go. And um, you're going to want to make sure you and whoever you know that would be interested um, likes these pages because I got some stuff that I want to give you. So do me a favor and go like those. Of course, Pinterest and YouTube as well. Do me a favor, go like them, share them with your friends, get everyone on board, and um, that's it. 
So I will see you guys next Monday. How's that? Hey, bye y'all.